Hey guys, this is your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com. Your boy is back and out and did it again. Guys, today we're going to talk about missed opportunities as a web developer. All right, guys. So basically, I'm going to tell you a little quick story um, about uh, Price. What is it? Priceline and me? Yeah. So um, pretty much, I've been applied to to Priceline probably like two years ago or a year ago or something like that and for whatever reason I don't know I guess that was going through through the resumes and, and finding people and looking for people right and somehow they called me up in January right around like January 12th around there that they really interested in you know in me and that they want me to come into the interview and this this and that and like they're loving what I'm doing and to be honest with you guys I missed the boat <laughs> I missed the train I missed the call right so I usually give out my Google phone um phone number to most of the companies right and then uh, somehow I forgot that that phone number was connected to my older phone. So now I'm going through my emails and I'm searching a whole bunch of stuff. Right. And then I realized I'm like, Oh wait, Priceline called me up in January, but it's like, what do I do? I mean, do I just like, do I call them back? Like what? Uh, it's February 22nd, um, 2018. That was in January 12th. <laughs> I mean, what do I call back? And be like, hey guys, yo, you remember me? Um, you guys sent me an email and yeah, called me up and I never responded back to you guys. So for me, I feel like that's already done. <laughs> now, am I looking for a job right now? No, I'm not. Um, but I would take if they would have offered me the position at Priceline right because priceline is doing a lot of cool stuff right they got a whole bunch of companies uh booking.com i think uh kayak they have priceline.com they have a whole bunch of them and i think what is it the priceline group if you look at let's see stocks uh priceline okay yeah priceline is one of the most expensive stocks out there right and it's one of the best companies out there period right and not only that that for this opportunity it wasn't the new york city offices which i wouldn't want to work there because it's like your their offices is like right in the middle of new york city which means it's like you got to deal with going to the train bumping into a a, a thousand people every single step that you walk like i'm not into that right but this was actually for the price line in norwalk connecticut right so that would have been nice i'll be honest that would have been nice it would have been pretty cool for my uh, my resume and at the same time it would have been a company that i respect like i really like price line i look into uh all the things that they do you know, like uh, as far as like uh, software development and, and, you know, web development. And definitely I own actually some Priceline stocks. So, you know, I don't know. It, it just it would have felt so good to work there just because it's like I believe in a company. Right. I, I told you guys before, I'm not looking for a job. I'm not looking to work for anybody. Right. But there's certain companies that. I would work for them because I respect what they do and I enjoy their products or, you know, like there's so many different things that I love about them. Right. And I think it would have been super dope for me to work with them, especially now that they actually tra transitioning from uh, they have a lot of Node.js in, in, in the back end, a lot of Java, but now they're transitioning to Golang, right, which would have been a great opportunity for me to really be. Um, in the field, you know, getting my skills up as a Golang developer. I mean, I've been doing this for a while, but this this the challenge, you know what I mean? Like, for me, that would have been a challenge. Like, 
Me going to a company and doing PHP is no longer a challenge. Me going to a company and doing Node.js is no longer a challenge. The only things that I could see that will be a challenge for me would be to do either game development or do Golang, right? Golang, I'm not the best developer on it. I, I feel like I still need more more experience, like building like real life projects, like being in a company. Not just doing projects that I've built before because it's like you already built it before. You know what I mean? So it's like you already know how everything works and how everything's going to be. But I want to get challenged by somebody coming in and giving me a project that like I've never done before. You get what I'm saying? So I feel like I would have had that at Priceline. And it really sucks. I'm disappointed in myself that I didn't look into uh, my Google Voice I usually do. I, I check it out. I go through my email. But like I showed you guys before, uh, if you go to my Gmail, right, my Joe Santos Garcia is like it's super spammy. Like that whole email is like super spammy. So it's like sometimes you, you miss things. Like I have a whole bunch of like different companies that send me stuff to this email. So it's like I miss things, man. It, it really sucks that I missed this opportunity. So I just wanted to share this with you guys because sometimes you got to be on top of your stuff, man. You know, like I applied for this company like a year ago. Like this wasn't like a week ago, two weeks ago. This was like a year ago. And they call me up now like, hey, man, are you still interested? And it's like, what do I do? Do I call them back a month later? Like, yes, I'm interested. I'm going to send the lady an email um, basically because I don't want to burn the bridge. But I want to say, hey, man, I just like I totally, uh, you know, lost your email somewhere. Your phone number uh, came up in my Google or uh, phone voice, whatever. And like, I'm sorry. But if if another opportunity comes up in the future, please keep me in mind and give a rundown, give them my resume again and the whole shebang. Right. Yeah, because it will be really good to work at Priceline. And uh, I believe they also have different offices all over the world. So it's like Priceline offices. Uh, let's see, Koreas, Priceline Koreas. They have one in, New, in Norfolk, uh, Norwalk, New, uh, Norwalk, Connecticut. And then they have one in New York City. They have, you know, they have other ones. I'm pretty sure they have other ones in, I think, is Amsterdam. And from what I hear, a lot of people get to transfer between uh, Amsterdam and here. So I'm pretty sure. Let me let me just check. We checking live right now. <laughs> uh, Priceline uh, Amsterdam. Let me make sure. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they do have Amsterdam. Yeah, I thought I was bugging out. I'm like, wait, no, I'm not bugging out. I know, I know somebody who went to uh, Amsterdam. Uh, another developer that used to work in the same company that I used to work with, he started working with Priceline and. They basically, they flew him to Amsterdam. So he's actually a developer in Amsterdam. And another thing that's pretty interesting, um, talking about Europe and companies, guys, you should definitely start applying for um, jobs in Europe. I'm sorry for the people that are in Europe right now. And y'all keep telling me, oh, it's hard to find a job. Guys, I just got an email from somebody that they're like ready to fly me out to Prague. Was it Prague? um you know prague and, and to france for a training it's like a, a two-week training and then i could work remotely if i want to i don't know if i'm gonna take the offer but it like for those people that keep saying like oh there's no jobs in europe like man there's a lot of jobs in europe man y'all need to stop playing you know sometimes people think like oh it's only here in the u.s this this and that but it's like nah man like there's jobs all over the world, man. 
I mean, it sucks if you live in like a third world country, if you live in Zimbabwe, you live in Tanzania, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I understand, but you're like guys that live in Italy or guys that live in, in Poland, guys that live in, in freaking Colombia, guys that live in, in Brazil, guys that live in, um, I don't know, freaking Malaysia, guys that live in freaking South Korea, send me emails like, oh, man, I, there's no jobs here. Uh, maybe I should go to the U.S. It's like, bro, why are those people trying to hire us here in the U.S.? It's like, there's jobs over there. You're just not looking for the right places, right? So, yeah, man, I just wanted to share this with you guys because it's like, you know, one of those situations where it's like, man, you know, you miss out on opportunities, man. So keep track of your emails keep track of your phone numbers that you give out to people um and try to clean out all that spam that you got like i gotta clean up look like i got 5361 emails like how many opportunities are on on, on this email alone so it's like you know what i mean so it's kind of crazy anyways guys so it's your boy joe back at it again codingface.com i hope you guys enjoyed this video this is just me sharing my my um you know my experience with this um and yeah man like <laughs> and just to be clear out there man i'm not really looking for a job i'm just like i like to see what's out there what opportunities come my way you get what i'm saying um this would have been a nice one this one i would have definitely taken this is super close to where i live uh basically you know it's parking so it means i could drive in there we in there with the bends like hey we in here like, yo, we in here swerving. You know, I'm not a type of dude that likes to commune or train. That's not my, my that's not my style, man. I don't care. You could give me 200000 uh, 300000 I'm not taking the train for nobody. You get what I'm saying? But if you say, hey, we got a parking spot for you, I'm in there like, hey. You get what I'm saying? So anyways, man, shout out to Priceline. Hopefully, after I send them an email back again, um, you know, we get in contact and you never know. There might be another opportunity in the future. Okay. So, anyways, guys, love you guys. Send me an email if you got any portfolio you want me to review. Send me an email if you got any questions you want me to talk about here. Um, yeah, and go ahead, keep on learning with the Python course that's free here on YouTube. It's a series, guys. I'm gonna give you guys about like 30, 40 videos, you know. So it's it's gonna be a full course, right? So take advantage, man. And by the way, you're going to see one video per day here. But if you go to my website, all the videos are there already in there. All you have to do is register for free. The course is completely free. And yeah, so go to my website, codingface.com. It's your boy Joe, back at it again.